Good day everyone and welcome to another edition of In Case You Missed It. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel. The interim coach of the Super Eagles, Austin Eguavol, has named his 23 man squad for the 2025 Africa Cup of Nations qualifier matches against Benin Republic and Rwanda. Ballon d'Or nominee Adimola Lukwan and the reigning African Player of the Year, Victor Simen, continue their impressive goal scoring form for their club sides. The Libyan authorities are arresting a citizen in Libya after the Confederation for African Football CAF ruled in favor of the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Super Eagles winger Ademola Lukman produced a five star performance in Atalanta 3 0 win over Napoli in the early entertaining Syria match on Sunday afternoon. The Nigerian international, who finished 14th in the 2024 Ballon d'Or ranking, continued with his incredible form for his club. Lukman grabbed a brace against Anthony Conte's side as the visitors claimed Ontario Point inside the Diego Maradona Stadium in Naples. The 27 year old opened the scoring in the 10th minute when he volleyed the ball into the net from close range. Napoli's defenders failed to clear their knives as the ball found its way onto the part of Nigeria International, who gave the side a lead, courtesy of Charles de Catalero assist. Again, Lukwa signed the home crowd with another fine finish from about 25 yards out, leaving Alex Meret a pleasant goal. In the build-up to the goal and on the far side, the Super Eagles winger wasted no time as he moved the ball away from his marker before unleashing a powerful shot into the net to make it 2-0. Matthew Rategu put the icing on the kick in the second minute of the stoppage time as Ladia won the game 3-0. His performance in the afternoon earned him the man of the match again in the Serie A fixture. Ademola Lukman now has six goals in eight Serie A matches this season, helping Atalanta move to second place in the standings. Ademola Lukman was the only African nominated for the 2024 Ballon d'Or, and many believe he is the leading contender for the 2024 Cup Player of the Year award. Lukman shared that his next target ahead of the next international break is to help the Super Eagles qualify for AFCON 2025 and the 2026 FIFA World Cup under Augustin Oguavon, who gave him his first international call-up. He told 54 Football X, We have shown good performances as a team in these AFCON qualifiers, and now we need to do better on a consistent basis. We have won two games and draw one game, so we will continue in this manner and try to win our games. Obviously, the goal is to qualify for the AFCON and World Cup, so we are looking to do those things. The interim coach of the Super Eagles, Augustin Oguavon, has unveiled a squad for the upcoming 2025 African Cup of Nations qualifiers against Benin Republic and Rwanda. He will have named 23 players in his squad for both games. Nasanawa United defender Victor Connes is the only home based player in the list. Oxa defender Gabriel Oshaw will have the chance to make his debut for the 30 time African champions after any his second invitation to the squad. Talismatic forward Victor Sime makes a return to the team after missing out the last time due to an injury. While Taiwa Wuniyi and Tanimu Benjamin miss out on selection this time around. Osho, who recently joined French side EJ Oxa, is set to make his debut for the Super Eagles, replacing Semi Ajayi, who has been out due to an injury. Also, Omar's return will boost the Super Eagles attacking option with the return of Victor Simen in the forward nine. Ballon d'Or nominee Ademola Lokman will join Victor Boniface in the attack as the Super Eagles need just one point from both matches to confirm their ticket to the African Cup of Nations finals in Morocco. Despite his incredible form for Kano Pillars, Captain Ahmed Moussa will not be part of the Super Eagles squad for the match. The Super Eagles will be up against the Cheetahs of Benin Republic at the Felix Ufet Boni Stadium in Abidjan on Thursday, November 14th. They will host the Amavubi of Rwanda four days later at the Goswe Akwabi International Stadium in Uyo, Akwaibom State. Here are the full squad list. Goki Bass, Stanley Wambali of Chippas United, Maduka Okui of Udenis FC, and Amas Obasogwe of Farsi Kaneme SC in Ethiopia. And the defenders are William Proust Ekong of Akalut FC in Saudi Arabia, Prat Osai Samo of Anabachi SK in Turkey, Bruno Oyemechi of Bofista FC in Portugal, Gabriel Oshaw of AJ Oxa in France, Kavian Bassi of Fuan FC in England, Ola Oduaino of Nottingham Forest also in England, and Victor Collins of Nasanawa United. And the midfielders are Buffet Ndidi of Leicester City. Rafael Nyedika of Club Brut in Belgium, Alassane Yusuf Abulai of New England Revolution in USA, Isayo Dele Bashio of Lazio FC in Italy, Frank Kuyeka of Osborg FC in Germany, and Alex Wobi of Fuam FC in England. And the forwards are Samuel Chukwezi of AC Milan in Italy, Victor Simen of Galatasaray FC in Turkey, 
Ademola Lukman of Atalanta FC in Italy, Kelechi Anacho of Sevilla FC in Spain, Victor Boniface of Bayern Leverkusen in Germany, Moses Simon of FC Landes in France, and Sadi Kumar of Real Sociedad in Spain. Pegu striker Victor Simen scored a brace for Galatasaray to help them secure a territory win over Tottenham Hotspur in the UEFA Europa League clash last night. After his heroic against Besitas last week, Usime missed training for some days as part of preventive measures to prevent an injury. Due to this, there were fears that he would miss Galatasaray's Europa League clash against Tottenham at the Rams Park on Thursday. However, all those fears were put to rest after the Nigeria striker's name was seen on the starting 11 before the game. Galatasaray has been brilliant this season and they showed their brilliance against Tottenham. Five minutes into the match, Yunus Agon gave Galatasaray the lead with a stunning strike, producing a wonderful volley into the top corner after Giresara's free kick was cleared. With Langshia pushed Spurs back on level terms, tapping the ball home from Brenner Johnson low cross. Just after the hour, picked the bottom corner with a one-time effort. Just eight minutes later, Usman struck again. This time, he got on the hand of a cross from Mates on the right and struck a precise volley from close range to make it 3-1. Galatasaray took the lead into the break, but they started the second half on fire. Osime could have gotten his hat trick in the 56th minute after he struck a ball at goal, but Freezers pulled off a marvelous save to keep the score at 31. Spurs quest to complete the comeback so far is set back on the hour mark as Langshire was sent off after receiving two yellow cards. Dominic Solanke reduced the away side deficit, putting in front of Davison Sanchez before Tony Pedro's poor pass into the net with a sub nice kill. The game eventually ended 32 in favor of Galatasaray. That was the first time that Osimen has scored a brace in the first half of a game in European competition. His first brace was in Napoli's 2 2 draw with Leicester City in the Europa League in the 2020 2021 campaign, while his second was in a serious 3 0 win over Frankfurt in the UEFA Champions League round of 16 tie in the 2022-2023 season. The Italian coach of the Super Eagles, Austin Aguavon, is expected to release a list of players that will be involved in the remaining two African Cup of Nations qualifier matches against Benin Republic and Rwanda today, all things being equal. Nigeria sits on top of Group D with 10 points. I will first tackle their neighboring country, Benin, in Abidjan on November 14. I will complete their qualifying campaign against Rwanda in Uyo on November 18. With the game against Benin, which will be held at their adopted home ground of Felix Ufet Boni Stadium, Abidjan, Super Eagles must be at their best to avoid defeat from the scene of their 2023 AFCON final loss to the Elephant of Côte d'Ivoire, as well as the 2026 World Cup qualifier loss to the Cheetahs of Benin last year. An official who knows the arrangement to the nation's newspaper. The Super Eagles will camp in Abidjan for the match against Benin, and the list for the match is likely to be out on Tuesday. According to Ongo Nigeria, Austin Aguavon has made a change to the list with a new player replaced the injured defender Semi Ajayi, who was on the original list, and the list will be made public on Tuesday by the media department of the Nigeria Football Federation NFF. Super Eagles training camp for the crucial 2025 AFCON qualifier match against Benin will open on November 10. All the invited players will travel directly to Abidjan from their respective bases. A chartered flight will pick up the Super Eagles in Abidjan on the morning of November 15 and fly them to Uyo for the home game against the Waps of Rwanda at the Ghostway of Pabu International Stadium, Uyo. The Republic of Benin, being coached by former Super Eagles trainer Ghana Tro, are in second position behind Nigeria with six points, while Rwanda are third with five points. Libya are fourth on the law with a solitary point. The North African side were recently sanctioned and docked a point following their maltreatment of the Super Eagles in their botch match before a counter. The Super Eagles will need at least a draw in Abidjan to guarantee their qualification to Morocco 2025 as the two top teams in the group are transferred to the tournament proper.
The Libyan authorities have become mass arrest of Nigerians in Libya on the back of a car fooling that was a fever of the super eagles at the expense of the North African country. This follows a formal complaint lodged by the Nigerian Football Federation NFL regarding the mistreatment of the super eagles during their recent visit to the North African nation ahead of the 2025 African qualifier match. The super eagles of Nigeria face significant challenges, including a redirected flight over 18 hours of delays and logistical issues during the trip for the return leg after a 1-0 victory in favor of Nigeria in Uyo and Ibom State. As a result, CAF cancelled the match, awarding 3 goals and 3 points to the Super Eagles. CAF also slammed a fine of 50,000 US dollars on the Libyan Football Federation LFF after they had the Super Eagles hostage for over 18 hours at an abandoned airport prior to the 2025 Afghan qualifier match last month. Libyan has already filed an appeal against this ruling. A local blog, Libya News Today 1, called on the government to apprehend undocumented Nigeria workers, proposing a $500 fine and appropriate taxation. Adenaike Emmanuel, in Nigeria living in Tripoli, confirmed to Sunday Punch that arrest had begun. She said, They have already started. The news came out on Saturday and they were saying that they can't accept it and they were not the one that will pay the money. They have started proving this. She added, Someone called me and said they had already begun arresting people in this area. The same thing is happening here in Tripoli. In some places, people were arrested on Sunday morning and afternoon. As I mentioned before, Libyans don't hide their fairness. They believe that by doing this, they are getting their revenge. Peter Morey Bay, president of the Nigeria community in Libya, verified the arrest in a video that was widely shared by several Libyan-based Nigeria blogs last Monday. This confirmation comes amidst rising tension between Nigeria and Libya after Nigeria football players were stranded at an airport in Libya for about 18 hours. He said, The arrest started on Sunday night in some areas in Tendora. They are arresting innocent people. They don't even care whether you have passport or resident permit. They just don't care, which doesn't happen in other countries. He linked the arrest to the recent face off between the countries, especially following the Kafune, which we fought in Nigeria and imposed a fine against Libya. He said, as a community leader, I received some videos showing that the arrest started last night in Tendora area. They said the Libyan police have started arresting Nigerians, whether they have passport or not. Some of us are already afraid, calling everywhere to ask what to do. Sometimes as a community leader, we are helpless. Even the Nigerian embassy's hands are sometimes tied. But international bodies need to intervene in this situation. 